Today we will set up and review the GoCater 2600 series and focus on the high dynamic range known as HDR. The GoCater 2600 sensors have been optimized for high speed. Utilizing HDR can help increase the amount of data we can extract from lower exposures. HDR function can be found under the sensor tab on all 2600 series. Today we will look at scanning the tops of some battery cells. Starting here, we will record some data at a set exposure. Here we can see in the height map that we are losing some of the top surface of the battery cells. Looking at the intensity image, you can actually see the lack of data throughout these cells. We can take a look at our exposure and we have it set to five microseconds. Going into the advanced tab and selecting custom, we can then come down to the HDR mode and enable the gamma setting. This HDR parameter will be set to one. We will change it to 0.7. While maintaining the same exposure, we will rescan the exact same surface. Once the image is fully loaded, we can already see that we're collecting more data. Jumping to the intensity image, we can also see that we're capturing the entire top surface of the battery cells. And we did all of this while not increasing our exposure time. Scan one here has HDR not enabled. Scan two has HDR enabled. We can use an average intensity tool here to simplify the count of number of valid points. Zooming in here, scan one again is non HDR. And if I look in the region where we're losing data, we can see the total number of valid points going to the HDR with a gamma setting of 0.6, we can see our total number of valid points jumps up. This is a good demonstration of how many extra valid points we get using our HDR functionality. These battery cells are a good application of HDR. As we can see in our intensity image, our laser is our illumination source and reflects back different intensities on the different reflective surfaces. As we can see, we're saturated in certain areas and undersaturated in other areas. HDR is allowing us to have a lower exposure with less undersaturated areas. In the end, gaining in a better capture of data. To summarize, because gamma correction is the inverse of the curve, setting a value less than one will brighten our image, creating more data in the darker areas of our image, therefore getting a better height map on a lower exposure. In the 3D vision world, we can utilize this function for faster scanning speeds and also extracting more data from hard to image objects or highly reflective objects or even dark objects that are normally tough to illuminate. Feel free to reach out to any of us here at LMI3D.com for more information on our new HDR functionality and for testing of our remastered 2600 series.